What are the pros and the cons of living in Benbrook, Texas? That's one of the most common questions that I get from clients that are looking to move into the area. So if you're thinking about moving to Benbrook or simply want to learn more about the city, this is a video for you. And you're going to want to stay to the end because there's some cons that will not only surprise you, but can actually cost you money. Now, if we're just meeting, my name is Jaime Resendez. Welcome to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, where you'll find real estate information that no one else is sharing with you. All right, so let's dig in. Benbrook, Texas is located on the southwest side of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and has a very short commute to downtown Fort Worth of 20 minutes. Now, if you're trying to get to downtown Dallas, that's going to take you about 50 minutes. And if you need to catch a flight at the DFW International Airport, you're looking at 40 minutes. All right, so let's start off with one of the best pros that you can expect from any city, and that's the cost of living. Bimbrook real estate prices are quite reasonable, not only because of the type of real estate that you can buy, but also the proximity that you have to Fort Worth. Because what you're gonna find in Bimbrook is that most of the residents do not work in Bimbrook. Thus, if they're not working from home, they're commuting to a neighboring city, primarily Fort Worth which leads us to pro number two, and that's the small town feel. Although Bimbrook has a population of over 22,000 residents, it still feels like a small town. It still feels like a place that you can build a community in, which is really one of the biggest things that the city focuses on, given that they put on a ton of events for its residents. Now, capturing this type of environment, of course, is not easy to do, considering you're right next door to one of the largest cities in the entire country. But I think Bimbrook is one of those select cities that can actually pull it off, which one of the big drivers that allows for this is pro number three, and that's the parks and recreation scene. Assuming that the weather cooperates, which we'll get to here shortly, you can live your life outdoors if you choose. You can go to the one of many parks, you can go golfing, you can go hiking, or you could even go to the lake. Given that Bimbrook has its very own lake, Bimbrook Lake. It just depends really if that's a priority for you. And by the way, if you're finding value in this video, let me know that you're here by commenting Bimbrook down in the comment section. Because now we need to talk about some of the downsides. What are the pros of living in Bimbrook? Well, con number one is one that I alluded to earlier, and that's the extreme weather. Expect to have hail damage on your car and on your roof. And also expect to hear a tornado siren every once in a while. Now, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just letting you know ahead of time that's going to be a thing that happens. When you're in Bimbrook and you have thunderstorms in the area, you can count on two things. Number one, it doesn't matter if it rains a little or it rains a lot. The traffic is going to get backed up. And number two, expect high velocity projectiles falling on your roof and on your car in the form of hell. Now, con number two is a tricky one. I'm going to go ahead and label it location. If you live in Bimbrook and you have a lot of activity going on in Fort Worth, meaning commuting to work or commuting to school, you're in a good spot. But if you have to do anything beyond that and go into more of the DFW area, then the commute is going to be a challenge. So there, Benbrook's location is not going to really help you because again, it's all the way off to the southwest side of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So as an example, if you're trying to hit up the star and check out the Cowboys practice in Frisco, pack a lunch because it is going to take a while. Now, the third downside of Benbrook is the limited entertainment. Don't really count on a lot of shopping opportunities or a lot of restaurants to go and check out. And of course, you can go ahead and file your retirement papers to your nightlife because that is not going to happen in Benbrook. You're going to have to go into Fort Worth or other cities for that. But in all fairness to Benbrook, this is a smaller suburban town. You're not necessarily expected to have a nightlife. But with all that being said, the reason that so many of our clients go with Benbrook over all the other cities is because of the real estate prices, the small town feel, and the parks and recreation scene which is why we at the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel give Bimbrook 3.9 out of 5. Now, if Bimbrook stood out to you and you want to learn more about the city all the way back to when it was founded, check out this video right here. Or if you're ready to check out some Bimbrook real estate, check out our list of preferred homes linked down in the description.